The Ovis World Slam is the taking of at least 12 of the world's wild mountain sheep. Tonight, we want to recognize several individuals who have documented an Ovis World Slam. Please hold your applause until everyone's been introduced. And as your name is called, please quickly make your way to the stage. Rusty Blyler of Pennsylvania began his quest for the Ovis World Slam in 2005 with a doll ram from Alaska. That fine ram was also the first leg of his eventual Grand Slam. Rusty traveled to Kyrgyzstan in 2010 for his Humi Argali and in 2017 went to Tajikistan where he connected on a great Marco Polo Argali. Rusty has two Aldads to his credit, but the ram he took in 2018 is a particularly outstanding trophy. Rusty completed his Ovis World Slam with a red sheep from West Texas in September 2018. On a hunt in the Caucasus Mountains of Russia, Eddie Dankers of Belgium completed his Ovis World Slam with a Mid-Caucasian tour in 2017. Eddie took his first international wild sheep in Azerbaijan, a Dagestan Eastern tour in 2011. In 2013, Eddie took a Kamchatka snow sheep on a hunt in Siberia. In 2014, Eddie hunted in Kyrgyzstan and took a beautiful Tian Shan Argali. And in 2017, Eddie hunted in Spain and was able to take an Aldad. It was in 2012 that Wayne Farnsworth Jr. of Ohio hunted in Spain to get a European mouflon, which began his international hunting. Wayne hunted in Azerbaijan during 2014 and took a Dagestan Eastern tour. Later the same year, he hunted in Tajikistan and got a Marco Polo Argali and then traveled to Turkey for a Konya Mouflon. Wayne achieved his Ovis World Slam in Mongolia in 2018 with a Gobi Argali. It was a 29-year quest from start to finish for James Haskup of New Jersey to complete his Ovis World Slam. Jim's first ram, a Texas Aldad, came in 1989. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Jim focused mainly on hunting the North American wild sheep. In 2009, he traveled to Tajikistan and took the Marco Polo Argali that you saw earlier. In 2012, Jim added the Hungai Argali from Mongolia to his Ovis list, and Jim traveled to Pakistan in 2017 and took a Blandford Uriel as his 11th Ovis species. Finally, in December 2018, Jim traveled back to Pakistan where he connected on a Punjab Uriel to complete his Ovis World Slam. Utah's Todd Messerly is up next for the Ovis World Slam. Todd's first ram toward his eventual Ovis World Slam was a heavy horn doll taken in 1991. Todd's international sheep hunting really took off in the early 2000s. He took a Humi Argali in Turkestan back in 2000, and the following year, Todd added a Gobi Argali from Mongolia. And in 2002, he traveled to Russia in pursuit of Kamchatka snow sheep. We'll finish up by showing you Todd's Marco Polo Argali from Tajikistan, taken in 2014. Mark Peterson of Michigan completed his Ovis World Slam on a hunt in Pakistan in March 2017, when he took a Punjab Uriel. Mark was also successful in taking a Himalayan blue sheep in Pakistan as well. Backing up, you see Mark with his Altai Argali from Mongolia, taken in 2015, and he took both the Afghan and Blanford Uriel on a multi-species hunt in Pakistan back in 2016. Finally, we want to show Mark's Marco Polo Argali from Tajikistan, which he took in 2017. California's Kevin Small reached the Ovis World Slam with one of his three desert bighorns, his outstanding New Mexico ram taken back in 2017. One of Mark's earliest international sheep hunts was to Pakistan in 2012, where he took a Punjab Uriel. Kevin has a pair of Hungai Argali rams from Mongolia to his credit, which were taken in 2013. Kevin also has two Altai Argalis from Mongolia, and his 2015 ram is a true giant. Kevin traveled to Turkey in 2018, where he took his 14th Ovis trophy, a Konya Mouflon, as he makes his way to the Ovis Super 20. Peter Spear of New Hampshire began his quest for the Ovis World Slam like so many others, with a North American ram, his first of which was a stone sheep from British Columbia in 1997. Peter has all three of the turfs from the Caucasus Mountains and is credited with coining the phrase Tur Trifecta, whose Kuban Western Tur and Mid-Caucasian Tur were both taken in 2008. Peter traveled to Nepal in 2016 to get his Himalayan blue sheep 
and he completed his Opus World Slam in August 2018 with the Kamchatka Snow Sheep from Russia. It was in 2013 that Enrique Velasco of Mexico hunted in Tajikistan to get a Marco Polo Argali, which began his international hunting. Then in 2016, Enrique traveled to Kyrgyzstan and took a Tianxiang Argali. The following year, Enrique added the Hungai Argali to his Ovis list on the hunt that he took in Mongolia. In early 2018, Enrique hunted in Pakistan and got a beautiful Blandford Uriel. Later the same year, Enrique hunted in Siberia and took three snow sheep on the same trip, including the outstanding Kolama Ram that you see here. That completes this group of Ovis World Slammers. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Many international mountain hunters just can't stop after the milestone of the Ovis World Slam. For those, there are additional milestones GSCO designates as the Super 20, Super 30, and yes, even the Super 40 on rare occasion. Please hold your applause till everyone in each group has been introduced, and as your name is called, please quickly make your way to the stage. First up is Brad Black of Ohio, who achieved his Opus World Slam Super 20, in 2018 on a hunt in Pakistan where he took a Blanford and Punjab burial. Backing up to 2010, Brad hunted in Mongolia and was able to connect to both the Gobi and Hungai Argali on the same trip. In 2015, Brad hunted in Siberia and took the Akutia snow sheep. It was in 2016 that Brad really got after the international sheep. In April, he took a Himalayan blue sheep from Nepal. And then in September, Brad hunted in Kyrgyzstan and got a Tian Shan and Humi Argali. Enrique Fernandez of the Philippines has really been after the wild sheep of the world for more than 20 years. Enrique's 20th Ovis species was a Punjab Uriel from Pakistan in 2018. He took a Blanford Uriel on the same trip. Two of Enrique's earliest wild sheep were a Karaganda Argali and Transcaspian Uriel from Kazakhstan in 2000. More recently, Enrique took a Mid-Caucasian Tura from Russia and Himalayan Blue Sheep from Pakistan, both in 2016. Then in 2017, Enrique first took an Altai Argali from Mongolia and then a Kamchatka Snow Sheep from Russia. Joe Francois of Wisconsin is another of those being recognized for his Ovis World Slam Super 20. Joe has two snow sheep to his credit, the Kamchatka and Yakutia you see here. In 2003 and 2004, Joe hunted in Mongolia and took the Gobi and Hungai Argalis. On Hunting West Texas in 2006, Joe took a red sheep, Armenian Mouflon, and the Aldad seen here. Joe achieved his Ovis World Slam of 12 sheep in 2006 with a Dagestan Eastern Tur. On two separate trips to Iran during 2018, Joe was able to take a Kerman sheep, Transcaspian Uriel, and an Esfahan Mouflon to achieve his Ovis Super 20. Jay Fernie of Colorado completed his Ovis World Slam with a Desert Bighorn from Sonora, Mexico in October 2017. This was Jay's second Desert Ram. 29 years earlier, Jay began his Ovis quest with an Aldad from Texas in 1988. Jay traveled to Russia in 2006, where he added a Kolomos snow sheep to his list. Jay took all three species of turf from the Caucasus Mountains in 2007, and we chose his Kuban Western Tur and Dagestan Eastern Tur to show here. As for the Argalis, Jay took an Altai Ram from Mongolia in 2007, and more recently, a Marco Polo from Tajikistan in 2016. Also in 2016, Jay took his second European Mouflon, with this one coming from Spain. Alabama's Charles Heron achieved his Ovis World Slam Super 20 on back-to-back -back trips to Iran, where he took both the Kerman Sheep and the Transcaspian Uriel. Earlier, Charles had taken an Aldad on a snowy day in Texas back in 2009. He traveled to Pakistan in 2012 and took a Blandford Uriel. Next for Charles is his Dagestan Eastern Tour from Azerbaijan in 2012 and 2014. He hunted Texas once again and took a great red sheep. 
In 2017, Charles traveled to Mongolia to get both the Hungai and Gopi Argalis. And finally, Charles added his second desert bighorn to his Ovis list on a hunt on Carmen Island, Mexico in November 2017. It was on a hunt in West Texas that Latham Myers of West Virginia completed his Ovis World Slam Super 20. There he took a red sheep and an Armenian mouflon. Latham hunted in Nepal in 2010 and connected on a Himalayan blue sheep. In 2012, Latham added a Marco Polo Argali from Tajikistan to his Ovis list. Moving along to Russia and some of the snow sheep found there, Latham took an amazing Kamchatka ram in 2015 and the following year, a beautiful Koryak. We'll finish up by highlighting Latham's successful trip to Pakistan in 2018, where he took both the Blandford and Punjab Burials that helped to get him to the Ovis Super 20. Now we come to Francisco Vizcaino of Mexico, who achieved his Ovis World Slam Super 20 in 2017 when he took both the Humi and Tianchan Argali in Kyrgyzstan. Back in August 2012, Francisco hunted in Mongolia and took both the Gobi and Hongai Argali, which you see here. Francisco hunted in Pakistan on three separate occasions during 2006, 2007, and 2008, and was able to take a Blanford, Punjab, and Afghan Uriel while there. In 2013, Francisco hunted in Iran and got four species which include the Armenian and Esfahan Mouflon, Transcaspian Uriel, and the Red Sheep. And now we move along to the Ovis World Slam Super 30, and we have one recipient tonight. Jan Doms of Belgium has been recognized at the Slam Quest conventions many times for his various mountain hunting achievements, and tonight we'd like to recognize Jan for achieving his Ovis World Slam Super 30. Jan's final ram towards the Super 30 was a Kamchatka snow sheep from Russia taken in September 2018. Backing up to a few of Jan's most recent rams, in 2013 he took a Humi Argali from Kyrgyzstan, a Kerman sheep from Iran, and Transcaspian Uriel also from Iran. Jan traveled to Pakistan in 2014 where he took a Punjab Uriel, and in 2015 Jan hunted stone sheep in British Columbia, connecting on a fine ram there. His Severed Zolf Argali is up next, and Jan took that ram in Uzbekistan in 2017 as his 28th ram. We'll finish up with Jan's Esfahan Muflan from Iran that was taken in 2018. That completes the Ovis World Slam Award winners for 2019. Let's give one final round of applause for these amazing hunters and their accomplishments.